Hello everyone. Today we're going to 3D print and build a pair of these full range speakers. These speakers work really well for a desktop computer setup and they match the subwoofer that we created in a previous video. These are really simple and quick to build. Uh, there is no additional electronics, although in a future version we will be adding a DSP. For this build, we're going to be using two Dayton Audio reference series 4-inch full-range drivers. The model number of these are RS100-4. They're 4 ohms each. These are really sturdy, beautifully built speakers. The frames are cast, heavy, strong, and uh, although they're 4 inches, uh, there's a lot of heft to these speakers. To finish off these speakers, you're going to need some acoustic stuffing. You're going to need four binding posts. These are extra long. They'll screw into the holes that were preformed or uh, pre-printed. You'll need about eight inches of wiring, two of them, one for each speaker. Um, I ended up using just standard speaker wires. You can use thinner if you like. I prefer it thick. And you'll need 12 um, 8 by 32 millimeter hex screws. The screws come with these nuts, um, but we will not be using these. There's really no need. And then on top of it, you'll need a set of four 5 millimeter rounds and four of these 5 millimeter spades, along with a crimper for those spades and a wire stripper for the cables as well. I designed the speaker cabinet in Tinkercad. Here we see the two holes on the back where the binding posts will be mounted. If we flip the cabinet over, we can see the face where we can see the bolt pattern that matches the speaker frame exactly. And then internally, we can see the volume, which was calculated based on what was required by the speaker if it were a box or some other shape. Uh, these correspond to a sealed enclosure. I also designed a face plate uh, to cover up the flange that surrounds the speaker just to give it an overall neater and a cleaner look. And finally, we need a set of speaker stands to keep these up off your desk. Uh, these are really simple in design. Uh, we've got a series of cones that support the speaker that provide isolation. The shorter cones up front are uh, for supporting the front of the speaker while the taller cones in the back are for supporting the rear of the speaker, which is thinner and narrower. And here we have stop motion video of the 3D print. This is the print of the actual cabinet that will house the full range driver. So after about four days of printing, we end up with this. Two of these rainbow colored speaker enclosures. And uh, so far this is all off a single spool. We end up with two face plates or bezels and two speaker stands. So here's one of the completed wires that'll connect uh, the speaker to the binding posts. And just to show you how this works really quick, you simply strip the cable, you insert uh, either the eye or the spade connector, you simply put the wire here inside and you squeeze and it crimps, and then you are done. And there we go with two. So here are both speakers uh, with the binding posts and the internal cabling attached and they're ready to go to add the speakers.
So now we're going to add our stuffing. And I like to put a little hole in it and then run the wires through, mainly just to make sure these wires don't end up slapping when the music gets loud within the inside of the cabinet. But there we go. We've got some good stuffing in there. And then I'll do the same here. So here are the two full range speakers. Notice the spade connectors on the rear. Uh, typically on speakers, the wider one is the positive and the thinner one is the negative, and they simply plug in. And so we'll give it a shot right here. So you can see they're connected and then we'll be able to sit the speaker in and align it up. We'll leave this one here for now. We'll do the second one. Make sure it's on there nice and firm. That one's on as well. And you can see here, they line up perfectly. And we'll leave that one be. Oops. So here we'll li I'll line up the holes. So it'll look like this. Let me get this started in the hole. I'll get this one started as well. I'll let them protrude just a little bit. Okay, after a considerable amount of time torquing the bolts in, this is what they look like. Here they are, sitting on a desk in the stand, and we're going to play some demo music here uh, for a little while. Uh, I apologize, the audio quality is not as good as it should be. There you have it, two rather unique full range speakers. Please stay tuned for a future video where we'll be showing how to hook these up to a DSP to better adjust the sound. And then we've also got an update coming to our subwoofer. So if you found this useful or if you like what you saw, please subscribe. And most importantly, please like as well. And uh, we look forward to meeting with you with our next video.